Good evening. Welcome to M1's shortened news in English, Hungary reports. I'm Hojna Katot, bringing you today's news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin. Let's get started. Hungary must continue to function in every way, and this also applies to its diplomacy and foreign relations, Viktor Orban said after talks with the Kyrgyz president in Budapest on Tuesday. The visit was originally planned to be held in the spring, but it was postponed because, as the prime minister put it, life stopped in Hungary during the first wave. This time, the government isn't planning anything similar. The numbers are a bit better and the spread of the virus has slowed somewhat, the chief medical officer said, analyzing data from the past days in Hungary. At the end of summer, it occurred at times that one person with COVID-19 passed the disease on to more than two people. But the so-called R number has dropped to one now. So for now, we don't have to worry about a huge boom in coronavirus cases. But as the experts say, the virus is present everywhere in the country now, so we should all follow the safety measures. According to data from the Central Statistical Office, 4,514,000 people in the country had jobs in August. That means that after the wave of dismissals in the first wave, the number of employed has surpassed 4.5 million again for the first time. The difference between August this year and August last year is smaller now at 18,000. The future basically depends on how the country will be able to get through the second wave. The government will discuss the extension of the border inspections instated on inner Schengen borders on Wednesday. The inspections are in effect since September 1st. With a few exceptions, foreigners are not allowed to enter the country at all. And even Hungarians entering the country must go into official quarantine. The statements of Vice President Yer Vera Jourova are incompatible with her current mandate, therefore her resignation is indispensable. Viktor Orban wrote to Ursula von der Leyen, the president of the European Commission, in reaction to Jourova's recent comments in an interview that Hungary, Hungarian democracy is ill and that Hungarians are not in a position to form an independent opinion. According to the Hungarian standpoint, the statements are in contradiction with the Commission's role as a neutral and objective institution, the Prime Minister wrote. That's all for today. Catch the English news every day around 11.20 p.m. local time or stream it anytime online. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Good night.